Hey, what's going on, man? This is Big Grime, and I have the Korg M3 software editor in front of me. I'm going to show you how to use your Korg M3 to control sonar. I would be showing you on my keyboard, but my camera battery went down, so it's in the middle of charging. I figure I could just show you on this way as well. It's pretty much the same principles. Um, of course, when you first turn on your Korg M3, you got the world famous Taurus the Sun combi. What I want you to do is go to global mode. And you can do this on your keyboard as well. Go to global mode. All right. Find MIDI tab. And then on the uh, Korg M3 itself, you'll see the external dot one or EXT dot one. You want to click on that tab. Of course, if you're on the software, once you just click MIDI, you'll see the external down here. Now, defaultly, you'll see um, the Core Legacy M1 control. What you want to do is go to uh, setup, click on that, and scroll all the way down until you find an empty slot, which is external set. All right. Once you've done that, there you go. All right. Once you have done that, find an empty slot, you'll see everything is off, and everything is set to global channel. Now, the whole idea is to use the sliders to control the volume sliders on sonar. So, slider one, you want to be able to control the volume slider one on sonar. So, to do that, you need to change the MIDI channel to one. Same for two. You want to set that to two, three for three, four for four. Just go all the way down. Five, six, seven, eight. And you can do this, of course, on uh, the M3 as well. You just change the channel on the sliders. So one for one, two for two, three for three, four for four. Now the control number. The control number is the number that... Um, is going to be used to tell sonar, okay, I'm moving slider one, I want to move control, let's say if I set it for 20, let's set the control number for 20, no, 21, excuse me. I set for 21 because 21 and slider one, it just makes it easier to, to manage. So, basically when I set, I set that to 21, I'm going to set my slider on sonar for 21 so it'll be able to communicate with no problem. So right now, let's go ahead and set the control number for slider 2 to 22. Slider 3, 23. Slider 4, 24. And just go all the way down like that. And of course, you only have to do this one time because we're going to save it and you won't have to do this again. All right, so now we have everything set up. Slider 1, 21, slider 2, 22, etc. Um, you can go ahead and save it. If you're on the Korg M3 itself, all you have to do now is hit the arrow key and you also may want to rename it. You might want to rename it Sonar 1-8, but you can rename it. If you click on the arrow, you'll see Rename External Setup. Just click there, rename it, and then click Write Global Settings. If you're on the software, as you are making changes, you don't see it happening on your Korg M3. What you need to do now is go to Utilities, Transmit Global, global Data, hit OK. And it just did it. So now you see what you've done on the software on your keyboard. And then you can go ahead and hit the arrow. You can rename it. Hit global settings. I'm just going to name my video. Because of course I've already done this. I already have a Sonar 1-8. So once you rename it, so if you've been using the software, 
you transmit it to the keyboard, you renamed it. How can you get it to show back on your software? Go to utilities and receive global data. Hit OK. Now, as you see, I changed the video and now it shows up on the software now. OK, now some of you are going to say, well, what happens because you only have eight sliders? You want to say you want to control 16 sliders or 32 sliders. Well, you have to create different setups. So for instance, this is only one through eight. I set up a whole new setup. And now when I go to Glo global channel, I go to nine, 10, you know, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's how you be able to control 16 sliders you just have to do a whole new setup and just switch in, be to, in between the two setups when you want to it's kind of like you know when you have a digital mixer and you only have like eight sliders you know to go to the next nine to um 16 you got to hit a button to go over to the next one well this is the same thing you just go to a different setup now as far as the switches um it's the same thing. Like I said, switch, you just go to channel one and then give it a control number and go all the way down. So if you start like channel one, you can go to, let's say, 41 or 51. Let's say 51. Then you just go channel two, 52, channel three, 53, all the way down. But let's go back to. All right, so let's just say you got your sliders, you did all your switches. Now it's time to set up sonar.